Alright. So. This one's going to be a little odd. Um, but. I feel like it, it'd be a good idea to do this. I normally respond to comments on Saturdays. I do a, a, what I call a vlog stream. And I'm still going to do that, by the way. Especially since uh, my videos have been getting more liked lately. And I'm not sure why. But <laughs> I honestly expected to wake up to like a torrent of hatred uh, yesterday for the anti-libertarian party screed. But I didn't. That didn't end up happening. So, uh, here I am the next day, unscathed, practically. Um, but, <laughs> ironically, uh, I fucking got this comment on my anti-democrat rant. Uh, and I feel like this is one of those comments where I could make an entire video out of it and I would spend too long responding on my vlog stream and people might get bored or you know something so I'm going to read the comment in its entirety and then I will respond to it segment by segment it's from a guy named Rube Maximilian I've watched a number of your videos well Thanks for the views, I guess. But this one really made everything come into focus, where I now feel for your situation. I smell a concern troll coming. <laughs> just, just saying, man. I don't... It's, it's weird when somebody immediately tries to empathize with you, and I think it's probably bullshit. But uh, I'm also a cynical asshole, so... He says, you have enemies all around you. Republican, Libertarian, Democrat, there doesn't seem to be anyone in any level of power that you feel is truly supporting the causes you believe in. At that point, you have to realize that you can't possibly personally succeed in this short time you have on this bl big blue ball hurtling through space. There is no path where you're, while you're alive to a world or a country that you would find acceptable. So what do you do from here? Is ranting on these videos a kind of salve for your soul? that helps you get through the day knowing that in the end it is tilting at windmills I hope you find peace Henry de Castries so needless to say there's some stuff to unpack here first uh, I doubt a significant chunk of people watch more than one of my videos so if you are being honest uh, congratulations but I think you basically missed the points that I was making. Because the points that I typically make are that, like, the system is fucked. Yes, but we have the potential to, like, fix the system if we really want it. There are ways out. There are ways up. You know? That's my normal point. I'm a pessimistic cynic, though. You know? I, I'm, I don't think it's going to happen. But I'm also not going to not try. Um, so, you have enemies all around you. Republican, Libertarian, Democrat. There doesn't seem to be anyone in any level of power that you feel is truly supporting the causes you believe in. This is why I believe you're missing the point, uh, Henry. I firmly believe that you don't understand the point of my videos because I don't want power. If there was somebody in a level of power that held my positions, I would have the wrong positions. Because my positions are designed to oppose power. The Republicans and Democrats seized their positions based on millennia-old structures of rulership. These things have been around since time immemorial. And ultimately, uh, the same bloodlines have been pushing the same money down the same paths to the same general locations for a long time now. And the power that exists 
the political power that exists exists solely to maintain theirs and to enrich the elite create a massive class of the powerful that are all basically in on the same bloody, brutal, evil hustle. That's what power is. Uh, Historically, that's where it's come from, and that's where it's going. Because history tends to repeat itself if unaltered. So, no, really, I don't want a libertarian in power. Because I firmly believe that any libertarian who could get in power would cease to be a libertarian or would not authentically be in a power position to begin with. I think libertarianism is about trying to oppose the power structure, not join them and create more power for them. That's what I believe. I went on a program which will be out next week uh, from a guy named Eric the Red uh, and <laughs> I, I I basically laid into the Libertarian Party even fucking more and also everybody else but it was never from the perspective that I want a Libertarian in charge a Libertarian in charge is an oxymoron because the system as it stands does not seek our consent nor does it require it Democrats and Republicans are two wolves and a sheep arguing over what's for dinner and the sheep includes the libertarians who believe that they can continue to not have fangs continue to act as though they're participants in the system and not subjects of the system just like everybody else who doesn't play ball they're the people who do that they're the people who lie to themselves and delude themselves into thinking that you can get libertarian solutions through statist means it doesn't happen it hasn't happened and it won't happen Um, And since I'm an anarchist, I oppose archonic structures, even when they're headed by somebody who claims to be libertarian. Wow. Huh? That's novel, isn't it? So, the comment where you say, uh, Republican, Libertarian, Democrat, there doesn't seem to be anyone in any level of power that you feel is truly supporting the causes you believe in, It's not about is. It's about can't. It's about I'm going to oppose the power structures, all of them. That's that's as clear as I can make it. Um, And then you say, at that point, you have to realize that you can't possibly personally succeed in the short time that you have on this big blue ball hurtling through space. If that's not the most patronizing way to put it, like, that's fucking pretty deep on... I saw this video where this woman was explaining why you shouldn't be able to criticize her weight or something. And she 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 started the TikTok by saying, catch a bubble in your mouth. Ow! That's the vibes I get here. I get real school teacher vibes off of it, to be honest. Um, and I don't like it because I've already made the point so many fucking times on this channel, which you'd know if you've been here for a while, uh, that I don't think I'm going to succeed because my goal is total global anarchy. I want no states to be able to come from another place and invade ours. I want all oppression gone 
everywhere. That's it. I want total victory. Total victory for the low class. The people who have constantly been oppressed since the beginning of time. By a ruling class that transfers money and power down line to keep it isolated in their hands and only gives any new power to people they can control. That's what I want. I want those people gone. And I want everybody who works with them gone as well. I want the whole system destroyed. I want global anarchy. I'm also a pessimist and a cynic, and I don't think it's going to happen. I have repeatedly said that I think that this is all going to end in rivers of blood and years of darkness in a bloody, brutal apocalypse, the like, likes of which will make revelations look like a children's story. I think we're all fucked. All of us, not just me, not just, you know, uh, me and my rants about, you know, how the system has failed us and how we're all basically slaves to it. Uh, not just me, not just here, not just now. All of us everywhere, all the time, are threatened by this system which oppresses us and will likely kill us all in the end. Because they want a global population of 500 million or less in perpetual harmony with nature. Ain't that fun? And then the rest, <laughs> fucking Georgia Guidestones never said how to keep them, so you might as well just start fucking snow piercing it, right? Nobody cares how the train works badly enough to stop it. When that's the way it's always been and change seems hopeless. Except the insane person who might eventually make it to the front and do what RTJ says and KYM. The whole idea here is trying to find ways to live better now. And to maneuver through this fucking system better. With more of our freedoms intact. Period. I support, in a direct sense, the idea of agorism. Because I think agorism does a goddamn good job at helping people on a personal level now. Because basically what it's saying is... Fuck the police. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want as long as I'm not creating a victim and you're going to shut the fuck up about it. There's also other forms of direct action anarchy. There's anarcho-syndicalism. There's You could start a mutualist uh, co-op right now or a commune. You could start your own and Kapistan private defense force so that the local police had some competition. You could do anything. But people throw money at Democrats who are part of an evil squad which constantly either capitulates to evil or causes it. Fascism is evil and Biden is a fascist and Hillary Clinton was a fascist, and so are so many of the other Democrats. They're fascists, and the squad supporting a fascist means they're fascist too. Because part of the point of fascism is that you are stronger as a group, and without the group, you're just one crazy old man shitting his pants and falling upstairs. You know the thing. Sniffing hair, being generally creepy, Without the star power of uh, war-hardened criminals, fucking despotic, pantsuit-laden tyrants like Kamala Harris, Cop Mala, he would not have seen nearly as much appeal. And that's why they went with this couple. 
they're a power couple of evil fascists who supported the police state. He supported the military industrial complex. They both supported big insert thing. They're fascists, and I don't like fascism. You know? I don't like government in general. I don't like any politician. But the reason that I make these videos isn't because I want somebody in power. It's because I don't like any of this power because it tends to lead to totalitarian systems of government like the fascism these fascists want. You, you like that tone of voice? Because that's the vibe I get. I get the vibe that you need somebody to hold your hand and you're projecting that onto other people with the big blue ball hurtling through space. He goes on, There is no path while you're alive to a world or a country that you would find acceptable. There are. It's just really fucking hard. I'm planning on working on all, all of this. All of this. But first, I have to have a firm foundation of messaging and a consistent message. Which is why I'm building my platform making these YouTube videos. So what do you do from here? Is ranting on these videos a kind of salve for your soul that helps you get through the day knowing that in the end it is tilting at windmills? No, actually. The reason I started doing these vlogs is because uh, I was about to dog sit in the middle of nowhere and it was going to have an impact on my ability to produce content and put it out every day so I started making these vlogs out there um, talking uh, I, my first vlog was was shitting on hypocrites who think that Bitcoin is bad for the environment while supporting others or that uh, that cryptos are bad for the environment while supporting the banking industry and uh, um, you know gaming in general and and a bunch of other things that they support which are very bad for the environment by the same metrics they use a lot more energy if you take the energy costs that are used by the things that they're they have no problem using and don't virtue signal against using uh, it's fuck it's fuck. It's really big, and that's, like, not even a debate. There's no question. It's not a question. The dollar is terrible for the environment. All the vehicles that have to go around shipping money back and forth, all the fucking uh, machines that had to be created so that people could withdraw or deposit their money at given locations... All the, uh, the, the, uh, the servers and the fucking personal banker information terminals you know like like the computers that they have in their offices all the offices themselves all the everything that they have to do all the manpower all of that is fuck huge for the environment and it's a petrodollar and these people support that i spoke out against them because i didn't want to let my audience down and stop making content for the time period in which I was going to be isolated and not really that useful for content. Ultimately, I kept going because by day two, somebody had already decided to sponsor the vlogs. Feel free to check out Opsec Drip. They don't sponsor this vlog anymore, but you know, they were the person who was basically the reason that I locked myself into a 30-day uh, verbal contract. Uh, saying that I was going to make this content once every day for 30 days. Some of those uh, times when I was making this content, I have been fucking exhausted. And I'll tell you what, today, earlier, like maybe 30 minutes ago, I was falling asleep at my desk. Um, which is another reason I chose this topic. It's going to be real easy to wrap up relatively soon. But I... I uh, was exhausted today, and I also had like a small amount of something that's been creeping up uh, ever since I started this vlog series, which is a little bit of fucking writer's block. There have been days when I've been absolutely fucking miserably exhausted already, 
and still cranked it out. You can see it because like I'm clutching my face and my eyes are closing and I'm having a hard time being anything but sarcastic or something. Um, and ultimately, uh, realistically, I started these vlogs for that purpose, to try and keep in contact with my audience. That's, that's, that's why I started them. And it, so, some nights it's been the opposite of a salve for my soul. Especially since some days I wake up and they're like, you know, not very many views on it. So it's like, you know, why bother if some of the people who do enjoy them and have watched them don't like and subscribe? Feel free to do that if you do. But the, the, the reason I make these vlogs isn't some sort of catharsis. Although I will admit that I work that into it a little bit, the reason I make them is so that I can't be accused of not making content. I've been called a grifter so many fucking times, even though I put out content a lot. Even though I fucking research the goddamn shit out of my content. Even though I make sure that my content has sources and proof and points that are very well articulated, it doesn't goddamn matter because there are people out there who want to destroy my reputation since they can't destroy my points. Since they can't prove me wrong, they mock me. They treat me like shit. So my way of firing back is doubling, tripling, pentupling, sextupling, everything down that I can. Because I am not going to let these people silence me by way of lies and attacks. It's not a salve for my soul. It's necessary to my fucking income. By the way, did I mention that this is my job? I might be overreacting. You might actually legitimately be concerned for me. You might just, you know, phrase your things in a way that makes it seem like you're concerned trolling and... You know, you sound a whole lot like an elementary school teacher who's, like, disappointed in somebody or whatever. I don't actually care what, though. Um, because, ultimately, uh, I think this, this video does a relatively good job. I want to reach out and affect the world. That's what I want. I want it to be that even if I get hit by a bus tomorrow, I can still succeed because my message is coherent enough and lasting enough that people can remember it and share it after I'm gone. Politicians build memorials. They demand parades and special days during the year. That's what they want. I don't want anything like that. You know what I want? I want people to share my content. I want people to financially support me so that I can make a fuck ton of content. I want to keep making every piece of high quality everything I can. And I also want people to stay interested, which is why I think these daily vlogs are actually good. Because they allow me to delve into topics every single day. And because I've set myself up this schedule... I am now basically forced to perform. I needed to hold myself more accountable and do more content so that I would earn the support that I've gotten so that I wouldn't feel like a leech. That's more of the root problem is my own sense of self. I want to feel at the end of the day that I at least did something for liberty. For spreading a good libertarian message. The true libertarian message. The libertarian message that existed before the 70s. That being a libertarian message of anarchy. Of a lack of rulership. Of total freedom. I want to spread that message. And that's the reason I make these videos. That's the reason I make articles. You can find some on my website, jeremiahharding.com. You can find some at my web, uh, or the website I write for, agorisnexus.com. You can find some on, um, on, on my Steemit account that's still there. 
You, you can find things places, right? Uh, if you're willing to look. You can uh, look me up on library and maybe create an account at jeremiahharding.com slash library, L-B-R-Y, uh, to, I think that's it, yeah, that's it, uh, to, you know, uh, once you create that verified account, it will support me. You can do all of this. See, this is where the exhaustion sets in. If you want to help me, like, succeed in these endeavors, if you're actually legitimate, if you're actually sincere. Um, but you can also just do this to see that I've been doing this for fucking years, and it's my job. So the primary reason I'm doing these videos, these vlogs, is not because I need a salve for my soul. If anything, this is salt in a wound. Because I know that every single day I'm going to say something that's absolutely true, or at least has little that people can contend with and things that they certainly won't contend with, despite being very upset that I said words they didn't like. Um, I can know that uh, that that there's constant, consistent, good information like that coming from me. But I can also know that they will not pay attention to it. The vast majority of people will not give a fuck about anything approaching the truth. They want their siloed-ass fucking echo chambers, and I will be ignored. And every day I make these videos knowing that. And it sucks. It sucks to know that I'll be ignored no matter how factual I am, and it also sucks to know, um, pretty much for a fact, that I probably won't succeed in getting total anarchy the way I want. That's the one thing you're right about. There is no path while I'm alive to a world or country that I would find acceptable. Probably. But you know, that doesn't stop me. It's like that Robert Heinlein quote. Certainly the game is rigged. Don't let that stop you. If you don't bet, you can't win. That's my philosophy. The apocalypse is... Potentially very close. The elites have already been doing a very good job of redacted. With their redacted. That they made in a redacted. That people have been censored for talking about because they claim redacted came from redacted. Or because they claim that redacted wasn't spread naturally. You know, it's almost like there's an actual conspiracy going on. It's almost like there's a massive global cabal that has always existed and grown ever larger and more powerful by the years, especially by consolidation of their power in massive secret meetings that nobody can know what was said in, like the Bilderberg meetings. I'm opposed to all power because it's what's created this fucking system and this goddamn mess to begin with. Plain and simple. And I make these videos because it's my job, even though it doesn't pay very well. Thanks deeply to the people who support me. Because I've seen some fucked up shit in order to research, in order to expose some very nasty people. Somebody I remember once, I don't know if they want this public, so I'll leave their name out of it for now. And thanks again deeply. They they sent me $20. And, like, it was related to uh, helping take down um, these, these thugs that call themselves libertarians. Um, and proving that they post videos of of like child abuse and regret that it's not easier to find more <laughs> that he liked it that he sort of got off on it and then like 
because I described it sort of in detail, he's like, wait, did you actually watch that? Did you actually see uh, this kid getting beaten? And I'm like, I saw enough of it to know that's what was happening. And he sent me another 20 because he said nobody, uh, something similar to like, nobody should have to see that um, uh, what you do is hard work and y uh, you've earned money or something like that. I can't actually remember it right now and I don't have it up. But it was I was deeply grateful because he recognized the difficulty of what I do. You know? It's not just me trying to feel better and masturbating in front of a camera for people. It's me trying to put words to paper, or in this case, commit vocals to film, that I think might be able to help if they were widely spread and thought of as true. I might be full of shit, I might be wrong, but at least I'm fucking trying. That's my goal. And I live for it when people say that I helped them realize something. It makes my fucking weak. The salve for my soul is when I get positive feedback that says that I genuinely helped somebody realize something that they didn't know before or didn't think about from that perspective. And it helped make them more anarchist. That's the salve. But it's only on this gaping wound of people ignoring, maligning, smearing, libeling, attacking, and otherwise deriding me. Who can't disprove me. There isn't enough salve in the fucking world to mean that I could be completely happy. And these videos aren't some sort of self-congratulatory bullshit. I know I'm not perfect. I know I have flaws. I know I fuck up. I know I could be full of shit. I know I don't do enough other than these videos. I know I need to get to fucking work. But these videos give me the potential to show people a more stream of consciousness way of thinking from my perspective than my scripted videos. I'm not looking at a script right now. I don't have a script in front of me. I'm staring at a camera and that's it. That's all I have right now. I have a camera. I'm just talking to you guys. And specifically, Henry DeCastries. All this is coming off the top of my head. I'm bipolar. And unmedicated. I've had night terrors since I was four. I had large amounts of issues as a kid growing up. I'm not going to get into all of it, but suffice it to say, my head is a fucking mess. And the closest I get to a piece is either those compliments or a successful workout. I'll probably never find peace. But you know the truth? I kind of fucking like it that way. Because in this world, those who find peace are often blissfully ignorant, and I would rather die than lose my credibility and reason. I'm not going to go quietly into that night. And I hope my viewers won't either. I hope my readers won't either. I hope that I can inspire enough people to be fucking infuriated with this system that they stand up against it. That's my goal. And that's why every single day now, I shout into a camera for anywhere from half an hour to near an hour so that I can try to get the rational perspective on what I've thought about or heard that day. You'll be seeing even more of that. I just need enough funds to basically uh, buy three months of private mailbox service, and I'm going to start a sub-stack. There needs some competition in that uh, field for some panarchist literature from an edgy anarchist Sonic fan's perspective, I think. And when I broached the concept before, a lot of people were on board. 
but I need a business address because I'm not going to list this address as my tax address and have a bunch of people know where I live. That ain't high on my bucket list, getting doxxed by myself. So I got to get that first. But my point is, there's more coming. And none of it makes me happy. None of it will bring me peace. It's like that song by Ill Bill, Immortal Technique, and Max Cavalera. War is my destiny. Because I grew up with psychological problems anyway, and I piled all of these global problems on top of it. Because I want kids to be able to grow up better and have a stronger shot at peace than I did. Peaceful parenting, responsible fucking, not raising kids with devices, not sending them to an indoctrination camp that, that they call school, not treating them poorly, being respectful. Just a basic foundation could create so much better people that would be better capable of understanding and respecting anarchy. But so much of our system is consumed with violence and aggression specifically. And that is what I fight. That is why I fight. That is why I make content. It's my fucking job. I picked a shitty job and I make enemies of everyone doing it. I hope that answers your question. If you like this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, etc., etc. I don't care. This was mostly for me. <laughs> feel free to engage in that way if you want, but everything you do, make sure you smash the fucking state. <laughs>